pick this up for four dollars and it's a wooden nativity scene this is how the pieces are in the box and then this is a an example of how they can be painted i'm going to show everything laid out and then um we'll see how everything looks all right so here it is i tried to set it up the same way it was on the box in that picture this is an extra one and I think this is an angel that these pieces need to be glued onto that's standing in this back scene here but everything looks it's really put together everything is here it looks really cute um, and I'm really happy with this again it was four dollars and it looks really really nice so as it was noted, the previous clip was recorded in July when I participated in a Thrift Mist in July challenge. And that was the video from that. So I'm showing now how I did use that um, nativity set to decorate my mantle. I really didn't want to paint the wood because I wasn't sure if I would want to change it sometime in the future. So I thought this would be a great way to bring all these pieces to life by adding some fabric and this is literally all fabric that I had laying around I have several pieces of fabric um, from different projects that I've worked on as far as sewing so I got the pieces that I thought would match the person and here I'm working on Joseph I'm just using double-sided tape to hold that down I didn't glue anything directly to the wood um, I just did the double-sided tape when it came in contact with the wood and then I did use a hot glue gun when I was gluing the fabric to itself. So I'm just tying a little belt for Joseph. Here I'm gluing it to itself and this is just in case I wanted to remove this fabric later and do something different. I might want to let my daughter paint this. She loves doing crafts. Up next here is the shepherd. I've already given him his shirt and I'm just adding his hat and his robe. And once that was taped on, I went ahead and glued part of the robe to the shirt and then um, I gave him a little belt too. And that was the extra piece that I had just cut off. And then I'm doing some additional trimming and then cutting the belt down to size. I did a few of these off camera and this is one, this I guess would be considered a shepherd boy. I'm not sure what that piece is that he's supposed to be holding, but we worked with it. Now we're moving on to Mary. So I gave her um, this little garment here. I'm pretty sure this is a little more flashy than something that the actual Mary would have worn, but I wanted to just give her a little bit of something so I added this, um, this is her head covering and robe. And then I matched her up with Joseph. And then this is one of the wise men. And I used this scarf for the inside and the robe and or the cape. And this is how he's looking. And then I covered his little box with this other piece of fabric and then added the crown. And these are the other wise men as well. And for the representation of baby Jesus, I just used this white material. And for the animals, there were a few sheep. So I'm just covering that with um, this cotton ball. I just shredded up the cotton to make it a little thinner and then I placed it all over. And I went back and pulled it off of the legs and the face just to make it look like this. And these were the other two sheep that I did off camera. Next we had camels, so I used this white chalk paint and this cocoa bean acrylic paint, mixed those together to make a tan color, and then I dabbed that on with a sponge. As you see here, I'm just thinning it out with the sponge, trying to make some shadowy areas where the legs kind of fold, and these were the other two that I worked on as well. And I used the same white chalk paint with black acrylic to make gray for the donkey. And then for the angel that I mentioned at the beginning, I did glue the wings on, but I thought it needed a little more embellishing, so I added some feathers. I did add this goldish shimmery material to kind of represent the angelic look. And I tried to make this one look a little more dramatic than the others since it was supposed to be an angel. 
And for the two areas that I didn't mind making a little more permanent, I used a dark stain for these staffs and I used this light stain for the manger. And I revised the side wall and the roof of the little hut that they're in and um, I shaved the wood down and I didn't like it so I covered it with cardboard and then this piece I didn't like how this looked so I covered it with twine. And this is how it looked when it was all complete. And then I added this piece to the top of that and then this is how it came together and this fits perfectly on my mantle. I made this joy sign last year in a previous video which I will link here in case you're interested in seeing how that came together. And this is the full nativity scene. The only other thing that I added was this bit of fake hay that's here. 